What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're covering two topics. Number one, what am I training for next? What is the next training block? And number two, I'll talk about my shortlist for the next marathon. So let's get right into this, shall we? Excited to share with you guys the plans for the upcoming training block, which is starting next week. And then of course, the short list of three marathons that I have for April next year. Just before we dive into the video, guys, a couple of things. I wanna say Pure Sport, the guys at Pure Sport are having a sale right now, 30% off. You guys have probably seen the links in the description um, for the three companies that support me, X Miles, uh, Noble Pro and Pure Sport. All links and discount codes are down there if you need nutrition. X Miles is the place to go at a treadmill. There's a discount code down in the uh, description. And of course, Pure Sport right now, 30% off. <clears throat> They're not gonna be having any Black Friday sales or Christmas sales. They only have a couple of sales a year. And right now, my favorite freeze roll and muscle balm is on at sale. So if you've been kind of on the fence about it, definitely worth taking the plunge now and trying it out. I used it all through the marathon block. And if it wasn't for the back, <laughs> I got through that marathon block injury free, feeling good and the legs were always in top condition. So I do attribute that to a lot of factors, but one of those factors is definitely keeping on top of the recovery and the preparations for the run with that freeze roll, which I used before and the muscle balm, which I use after. So go check that out if you fancy trying their products. Great sale now on. And secondly, Ben Johnson, what a legend on Instagram, if you don't follow him, you're missing out. He's only got 100,000 subscribers, or he might even have it, I don't know. He's a monster, and he uh, very kindly sent me this singlet, custom source singlet with his Instagram handle on the back. Really appreciate it, Ben. Thank you if you're watching. You're a star, mate. Enjoying it out here today in a really strange climate. Raining, drizzly, bit of a dank day, to be honest with you. But it's gonna be 19 degrees today, and it is really warm right now so those things out of the way if you're excited for the video today guys make sure you give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and let's dive in to the upcoming training block here we go then just like last winter we're diving in to a speed block. So I should just quickly say, I'm out here today, this week, um, just doing a quick hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes. I've had a down week this week, been on holiday. I dropped a post out, community post. Thanks for your uh, nice comments on there. Appreciate it. It's been a lovely week to switch off, but uh, I really got the fire in the belly now to get going next week. October has been a very calm month. Um, exactly what I needed after London, to be honest with you. But uh, now November is on the horizon. It's time to knuckle down and get this 12 week training block underway. 12, 13, depends on the goal race. So the long and short of it is my usual Speedway 10K uh, that I would target in January mid to end. Hasn't been confirmed yet. And on their website it states that it might change to a 5k uh, or it might happen early part of next year reason being chepstow harriers have hosting cross country on the day that they normally host speedway 10k so that option might be out the window depending on what happens with it i'm just staying tuned and staying flexible with the training uh, which means there's a couple of other races in and around January to early February that I will be targeting. Lizry 8, haven't done that for a few years. Flat, fast eight miler. Um, there's Staverton 10, a 10 miler. It's a little bit long for this training block. I really am targeting five and 10K speed. But as we go through the block, things will extend. So it will be good to go for a 10 miler really. And also Battersea Park 10K, early January. That's one I'm looking at very seriously. Just need to grab a hotel for that one. Um, so that is for me right now, 
looking like the favorable option which means the training block will be nine or ten weeks long but i am holding out to see what happens with speedway if you remember last year if you've been subscribed since last year you know i undertook a speed block uh, around this time i'd already started it by now i was in about week four at this stage but um i find that in the early part leading into winter and christmas i enjoy working on the speed working on the stuff that although a 10k is probably my strongest distance the vo2 max top end stuff is my least favorite work to do but i know uh that working on your weaknesses as well as your strengths is uh is a good thing to do and that's why i'm going to be enlisting some help leading in to this training block which i'm going to share more info of that on week one starting next sunday so the goal for me is to be working on a hybrid plan where i'm covering just over half of the plan and this other chap is going to be helping me out with the vo2 max stuff and the wednesday specific 10k workout which means i might end up dropping the double thresholds for this training block to be a bit more specific on the 10k uh, distance i'd love to love to get down into the low 33s current pb 33 38 so just to take another 10 20 30 seconds off that uh, by january would be lovely i'm also aware right now <laughs> i'm blowing this was easy pace during marathon training current heart rate 156 so i know fitness comes back quickly and i'm not worried but i'm very aware for the first two or three weeks of this block are really going to be easing into things waiting for my fitness to come back so that's the plan for the next 12 weeks and as a side note I will be answering some of your questions so I'm going to be picking three of the best uh, each week and answering them in the vlog around the training around the training series uh, and around all things running so if you have any questions for week one do drop them in the comments below I'll pick three of the best and uh, I'll answer them in next week's vlog all right let's talk marathon shall we so the goal coming off the back of london was just to recover but it lit a fire in my belly to hydrate just you've seen the videos you know what it's all about i just don't drink and uh, i've been taking fluid out with me on every long run since london so i did it on the run to mayhill with lee did it last weekend and this weekend last weekend and this weekend i've got a 150 mil bottle of electrolytes in my belt which i'm carrying uh, so when i'm running a bit faster i'm practicing with a bit of a smaller amount for starters um, but last weekend and this weekend it's settled really well so i can't grumble and i'm just going to progress that and just get bigger bottles uh, and eventually carry a soft flask in the belt and try and down 500 milliliters of electrolytes or water uh, on a long run but that's a couple of months away yeah just gonna build it up slowly so in terms of the short list there are two on the middle weekend 15th and 16th whatever that weekend is in april manchester and newport manchester is my preference out of those two newport's closer and more convenient um the only the only downside with those two is they come after half term which if you have kids you know it's a nightmare to have any sort of consistency over half term especially if you go away on holiday and like a lot of families over the easter holidays we do usually go away so that means that the taper would be less than ideal might be able to squeeze one run in maybe two if i ask my wife nicely but family first and i'd never jeopardize a holiday for a marathon taper it's just ridiculous so there is one other marathon which 
is slightly less desirable, but ticks all the boxes. I know it's not Paris, because I have looked at Paris, but I was looking on that first weekend in April, the second, because that is the start of the half turn. And then, once I run the marathon, I can switch off for a couple of weeks and just do a bit of light running afterwards. And that is the Great Welsh Marathon. I've heard great things about this run. It's a small field, two, 300 people, flat, starts in Pembury Park, which is where we pretty much where we've just been on holiday. Runs down the Millennium uh, Coastal Path, turns up for Netley, that's how you pronounce it, and then comes back. Um, I know a few people that have run it. They've all given me good feedback. It can be windy. It's a long coastal section. So that's something to take into consideration, but it ticks all the boxes. There's a place for the family to go at Pembury Park whilst I'm running. It's before the half term, it's flat, and I feel it could just work. So to be honest with you, right now, that one is in pole position. And if that is the one that I decide to do, then the Battersea 10K will probably be the race I shoot for. The only hesitation about Battersea is just because it's just after Christmas. I usually take three or four days off over Christmas. Again, it's gonna be like taking time off in the marathon taper and I lose some sharpness. I won't be quite as firing on all cylinders as I'd like to be, but it just means that with the 2nd of April um, sort of date for the marathon, that means I've got um, most of January, February and March. So I think is that it's going to be about 12 weeks again. So that means I'm going to get a nine or 10 week 10K block in and then a 12 week marathon block, which for me, again, it ticks all the boxes. So you can probably guess from my tone what way I'm swaying. I'd love to do Manchester. I really would. And that is my preference out of Manchester and Newport. And if the Great Welsh doesn't happen, it will no doubt be Manchester. But I have to say, I stumbled upon this one. I found it a few years ago, kind of went to the back of my head. I know a few people that have run it over the years. They always seem to PB. It's a great course. Um, I can relax, I can enjoy, I can have no pressure. Everything that I want for my next marathon, especially after the recent London debacle and just aim to get a good for age time again. That's all I want from this next one. And now I wanted to run London, run it well, and then bounce back and really give April a good go. But after London's not so good run, I'm gonna carry that momentum forward and just go, all right, let's get that good for age again because I was unsuccessful in the ballot. I don't have a good for age for London next year. So for me, 2023 is about getting that good for age again so I can get back in in 2024. So there we go. Those are my thoughts on the upcoming training block and the upcoming potential marathon in April. Ridiculously excited. Grateful to have October as a bit of a down month. Cannot wait to get started. I'm working on some speed and hopefully getting a 10k PB at some stage in the near future. If you enjoyed today guys, well actually first, don't forget to drop your questions in down below for the training series starting next weekend. And don't forget to check out the Pure Sports sale. My discount code won't work because the product's already on sale, but the link in the description will take you there to the site. So that is it for me today. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. Thank you once again, Ben, for this awesome single. It's been great today. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until then. <laughs>